A lot of Dane County families are dealing with the differences of schooling from home. Jennifer Cleasy shows us how one family in the Oregon district is getting started on the first day. It's been interesting so far to today. The first day of school for the Brussburg kids started off like any other. Trying to make it special as much as we can. So we still did the morning pictures with them. I uh, tried to get them a special breakfast. But the Brooklyn family's morning was very different than this time last fall. Jump right into a uh, Google Meet at 750. So away we go. <laughs> So you had a good start so far this morning with Mr. Bennett? Greta and Henry starting school online without a hitch after parents Michelle and Mike learned a few things from last spring. They definitely need a dedicated space. We can't do it again at the kitchen table where we would set up in the morning after breakfast, work, take everything down, have lunch, put everything back up, <laughs> work again, and then uh, clean everything up for dinner. So we definitely made sure that we're going to need a dedicated space for them. Do you feel pretty well prepared compared to the last time around. I don't know if anyone can be prepared for this. I mean, you just try and um, put on a good face and be as positive as you can. While the kids were disappointed they couldn't go to school, the family understands the challenging decisions being made during the pandemic. They're being very conscientious over the kids' health as well as the health of teachers and administrators right now, and that's all you can ask for them to do. Um, hopefully when this is all over, um, a much better educational environment can resume again. As they hope for a day, the kids can learn in person again. Some jumping jacks if you like to cook your face. In Brooklyn, Jennifer Cleasy, 27 News. The Oregon District is allowing this family's youngest to go to weekly group meetings. They also feel fortunate to have a parent working from home who can help out with the lessons.